What is going on guys? Sid here with another episode of Nostalgia Blast. And guys, today on the channel, we are playing Tekken 7. Guys, uh, on the PlayStation Network, it dropped dramatically. The price of this game dropped dramatically. And this is the first time I'm playing Tekken 7. Guys, I downloaded it and I instantly went into the arcade uh, mode uh, earlier this morning. And I was like half asleep. I was groggy and the game was still installing. And I ran through the arcade version of the game in like no time flat, right? Because uh, I think in a couple, a pre couple episodes ago, right? I, either the previous one, one or two, one or two or three, one, one of the Marvel vs. Capcom episodes that I dropped, the infinite episodes i told you guys uh i've been a tekken player since tekken 3 right um which is quite long i'm not one of the original original tekken players right that played from tekken 1 i started on tekken 3 and horang was my character i had recently switched over to Jin and kazuya those were the two characters i had tried out uh before prior to uh this version of the game uh, but guys, this is literally, I know I'm a generation behind, but guys, uh, I was like, okay, you know what? Since I'm a Horian kid at heart, right? I'm actually a grown adult, right? But um, guys, this is literally muscle memory, right? And for the most part, Horian's combos are actually quite, you know, not not too much has changed, right? There's still a little bit of, um, uh, there's there's a lot of similarity, right? But there's, there's, there's definitely some differences uh, in the way you link the combos this time around, right? Um, that's all I'm gonna say. This is like literally the first day I'm playing, right? And uh, I've went, I, I went through the arcade mode twice. Once this morning, and then once again. And then I said to myself, let me try the story mode. Like this is all like before I hit the record button. And when I went to the story mode, I was like, mm, what would be the best way to convey my feelings for Tekken 7? uh in the shortest amount of time possible right in the, in the most effective and efficient way possible well guys i was like okay you know what let me just keep it simple with you guys let's get into the arcade mode right so you guys can see how i used to play with horang right because he's not my current character but he's the most he's the character that i have the most uh in terms of like uh the, the most knowledge in terms of like uh Muscle memory, right? So the learning curve uh, wasn't as steep, right? To like relearn his combos, right? So uh, because uh, Kazuya and Jin are my more recent characters, right? Um, uh, there's there's a good there's a higher probability that I've probably forgotten those combos, right? How, how to ch how to chain combos with those guys, right? So Horang it is, right? So yeah, we're jumping into like in this video, what you're seeing is we're jumping into the arcade mode once more and then maybe we get into some online matches right because but guys this is a playstation 4 title which is technically you know we, we could call it a nostalgia blast episode right because it is a tekken game right um as you can see i'm down to 6q right uh which is good which is good right uh but it shows that i've only played the game you know a limited amount of time it's literally what i've just told you right um and uh i did face akuma and i faced kazumi so um in like the the first two attempts at the arcade mode right um i will say kazumi is much harder um probably because like i don't know the character right in terms of like at all there's no there's no like uh there's no frame of reference to like her move sets for me at least right so um i would have to like do a little bit more learning right if i am to continue playing tekken 7 but um what I want to say about Tekken 7 is that it's really short. Like, guys, it's 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 not long at all, right? The arcade mode in this game is dumb short. And there's, like, season passes and everything, right? It's the whole Tekken universe, right? And obviously there are crossovers. Akuma is a crossover character, obviously, right? And it crosses over kind of perfectly, right? Akuma, Akuma kind of, like, you know, like, he fits so well into this version of the game, right? Um, But, yeah, as you can see... We're using Horang, and I figured, okay, you know what? Let's, like, look, like, li literally, we are literally back to Heihachi already, right? We're already up to Heihachi at the Mishima Dojo, right? So, um, how do I, what do I feel about the game? I, I feel like the game is, like, dumb easy for no reason, right? It's stupid simple, right? Uh, there's a jack just, like, like, randomly flying into the dojo, right? But, um, yeah, guys, uh... What we're gonna see here is just like an epic fight, right, between Horang and Heihachi, right? And um, Heihachi, uh, he's he's part of this like the story mode. Like I briefly like touched the story mode, right? Because I literally downloaded the game today. It took a long time to install, so while it was installing, I um played the arcade mode, right? And then um, 
beat it in arcade mode like extremely it was like extremely simple right it was like dumb easy but um then i figured you know jump into the story mode try out the story mode for most way too long to make a video right about it right um I think I would even just get tired talking, right? And there's just so much to, to that I'd have to get through with you guys, but um, too much for like a nostalgia blast episode, right? Or we could title it a five-minute boss battles episode, <laughs> you know? Even right because um, look how fast we're going through this, right? We can literally just use it as like a Akuma as a boss battle. But here, yeah, look, guys, we're already up to Akuma and the abandoned temple. How freaking fast was that, right? Like, this is just wild, right? But at least the game, I think that I'm going to tell you exactly how much I paid for the game because it went on sale, like, uh, I guess it went on sale, like, um, within, like, the past week or so, right? Uh, or maybe month in the past month, right? So um, I'm going to let you guys know. How much I paid, like literally right now. Um, right now, yeah, nine ninety nine total, ten dollars and eighty eight cents, right, on the PlayStation Network with tax, right? So, for ten dollars and eighty eight cents, right, can't go wrong, right? Could it be cheaper? I think, I think it should probably be cheaper, right? Because this experience was kind of like it felt a little underwhelming, uh, um, just playing the arcade mode, right? But uh, obviously, there's probably a lot of effort that went into the story mode and probably they were like probably gearing the game for like online play and if i and if i like furs youtube right now there's probably a whole bunch of tekken players like that tekken community is there like i i think i stated this in like the the capcom the marvel versus capcom infinite videos right yeah those uh, the the, the sub -com uh, communities are there right the different fighting communities the mortal kombat guys the tekken guys the you know like they the marvel versus street fighter marvel versus capcom marvel versus whatever uh, iteration of that series right you've got um yeah the the pure street fighter uh, the street fighter purist right you've got all those guys right all those different fighting communities is what i'm trying to get at right and uh we're probably missing a whole bunch of different like fighting communities right so uh good times all around regardless right because we're using Horang, right, to face Akuma, and I, I, I'm not joking with you guys, right? So, so, uh, let's talk about the graphics for like two seconds, right? Because Akuma's already done. So, the graphics are definitely last gen, right? You can just tell, but in terms of like the frame rate, it's pretty consistent. It's pretty, it's pretty good, right? Um, it, it's, it's, it's a very responsive game, right? Uh, it's a good build, right? Uh, but yeah, Tekken 7, already done. It took me 7 minutes and 40, 45 seconds, right? To, like, a, a, like approximately, like, 7 minutes and 30 seconds to, be, to beat the arcade mode, right? So I wasn't joking. I wasn't joking. That's literally the fastest route, right, to, like, beating Tekken. And it took me no time flat, right? So, um, good times, but also really underwhelming, right? But there's probably, like, a lot of characters that I'd have to learn. But I figured, you know what, because I've already tasted the arcade mode, that was probably my third go at the arcade mode, which is cool, right? I figured, you know what, let's get into some, like, ranked matches, right? Um, and see, like, like really, like, even even though it's, like, next-gen, like, the PlayStation 5, let's test out the online um, capabilities of the game, right? Like, um, I think the last time I tried using uh, a Tekken game online... Hmm, Probably PlayStation 2 days or PlayStation 3 days maybe. I, I I can't even remember man. Um it was it was a long time ago, but the it wasn't really geared up, right? What I'm trying to say what I'm trying to get at, right? And that's just me just like warming up. But what I'm trying to get at is like, you know, the, the Tekken games, like fighting games in general, aren't really geared towards online play because you have to calibrate on the fly for ping fluctuations like in in you know like like in rapid times right like one misstep or one miscalibration right um in like a fighting game and you're down like like a whole you know half a bar right so yeah this is literally the first person i'm facing a chino 2113 so kudos uh to my opponent right um so I guess he's playing with Steve Fox, right? And um, I am Horang uh, in this, what is my first ranked match. So you do have to wait for it to sync up. And it's a demotion match for him. And I've got the cool, the cool, uh, 
sweatsuit, that ju the cool jumpsuit on, right? I actually like that suit, right? Really cool. But yeah, here you guys can see it, right? Here you guys see it, right? So you guys can actually see the ping right now, right? And you can see the delay, the rollback frames, right? Like, that's really cool. You can see it on the fly. That's So the indicators are there. Right, which is cool, which is still pretty cool. But you look, like as you can see, like what's going on there, right? Um, it's still not a reliable uh, online experience, is what I would say. But it's not like, you know, like it's it's not the worst feeling in the world, right? But you do have to calibrate, right? And it's just, you know, it's it's really weird. It's a weird it's a weird feeling. It maybe if more people were playing the game, right, you wouldn't experience it in, in this manner. Right, but obviously I'm the person that's a generation behind right but it feels like the good old days right it really does feel like the good old days playing Tekken right um yeah geez it's been forever but yeah guys 1-1 one, one, and I am feeling good right because we are jump like we're jumping into like jumped into the arcade mode like twice today like two times off the recording one time on the recording and one uh, and now we're into online play already right so yeah they definitely geared it towards online play and towards the story mode and you know, just like learning the new characters and there's probably uh, like a lot of intricacies that i've i've yet to learn right so yeah we're kind of just like speeding through like fighting games right like like speed running fighting games we're doing marvel versus capcom infinite now we're doing um, Tekken, right? The Tekken universe. What's next? Mortal Kombat? <laughs> I don't know. Like, like, like really. Uh, but I was never big on. I don't know. Like, like the old school Mortal Kombat's, right? The new school ones. I haven't really like uh, learned it in a way to play it online or to play it competitively, right? But yeah, guys, clutch there, right? Oh, what a win! All right, so I won, right? And then. It updates the leaderboard data, which is cool, right? So not much has changed in terms of like the online play, except for Revenge Match. Yeah, let's accept it. Um, so these are like the first two matches playing Tekken uh, 7 online. Uh, the PlayStation 4 version of the game, right? The most recent version of the game on the PlayStation 5, right? So good times. And yeah, so he he has a uh, top stats, aggressiveness A plus, rage usage, right? So I get a promotion match now, right? Uh, from uh, facing him again, right? So there we go. Um, came out guns blazing. And it's really yeah, it's really like you really have to assert yourself, right? That's a great way to put it, right? That's like a new thing in Tekken. I, I would I would guess right like how you assert yourself in the match right but um I don't know how they uh they they they, they, they track that right how how that's tracked but yeah <laughs> right uh really caught this guy off guard with the sidestepping right gotta you gotta sidestep a lot when you play with him but mm, that lag that lag is is, is kind of like you know like 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 it's it, it's really frustrating. Because I can make an error, he can make an error, right? It's, it's really like, it's like up for grabs. It's up for grabs when things like that happen, right? And you just have to make sure you like link like a long enough combo, right? And he was about to, boom. <laughs> that took that away from him, right? But, um, yeah. Uh, it feels good. I need a breather. <laughs> I'm talking for like... 13 minutes straight. <laughs> Let's just watch this the, the screen. Ugh. But yeah, uh, that lag is, is it's kind of you know it's, it's kind of unnerving, right? But we finished out the arcade mode, right? And now playing the first two matches online, and he did catch one back, right? He got one back. So round four. And came out gun blazing for round four, right? Odds were in my favor. And then he comes back with his combos, and je guys, check it out. I am almost done. But. <sighs> I win. <laughs> uh, that felt good, right? <laughs> Leave when you're on top, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I gave him his revenge match, and then I figured, guys, that was good enough for a Nostalgia Blast episode. And, guys, peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours. Uh, drop some love on the channel, guys. I know I've been away, but... 
Guys, I came back for Tekken 7, brand new game. Gonna try it out a little bit more in the next couple episodes. Peace, love, all the blessings to you and yours. Sid out.